<laughs> you know you're happy. I feel wonderful. Radiantly healthy and feisty as ever. And, she, and it's her birthday. We it is. That. I Place saw your it. hand on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> If everybody, if everybody would just send me one dollar, <laughs> where would it go? That one dollar, where would you give that dollar to the hepatitis C fund? Because I want to find a cure for my disease. Okay, That's we're right. going to talk a lot more about this and that. We're going to play, we have a lot of stuff to do, but first, we're going to play with Mr. Jim Moray, and he's waiting for us out there in Hollywood. Good luck, Jim. Jim help. <laughs> I, I'm behaving, okay? Woody Harrelson and Antonio Banderas are... Hey, to the very talented Ms. Judds, who are about to start a brand new tour on February 4th in Denver. Woo-woo! <laughs> so you're excited about it. How did the dynamic come about of deciding to take New Year's and just expand it a little bit? The fans, mm. they kept saying, uh, we want more, we want more. And we felt like the power to change, which is what we're calling the tour, is something uh, that Y and Ashley and I feel very strongly about, reminding people that they have the power to make that choices you can reinvent and change. yourself at 54. You can get a bus, follow your daughter around, and do a lot of shows. So you're not on the same bus? No. Heck no. <laughs> have you ever been kids. on the same bus? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yes. But those days are over. Yes. Actually, that healed our relationship. Now I have two kids, and it's a daycare center, so I'm trying <laughs> to give her a break. <laughs> now, so much has happened since you retired. Mm -hmm. In those years, did you ever think that this day would ever come, that you would be on tour again? Mm. Yes. Um, not that I actually planned or, or wanted it to happen, but I used it as one of the psychological tools. Because when you have an incurable illness and the doctors give up on you, you have to step out in faith and you have to say, I'm a child of the Most High God and I'm claiming my healing, my birthright. And I studied holistic medicine and I just kept doing imaging. And part of that whole process was imagining the fans again. Mm -hmm. And the fans and standing next to her. You're pulling out all the stops for this. Is mm -hmm. Ashley going to be involved at all mm -hmm. in this tour? She'll be around. Depends on what mood she's in. Oh. No, it depends <laughs> on what country she's in for her movies. <gasps> Look. 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 There's oh. little Ashley. Do you miss her That's when you're not baby. with her? Yes, I do. And well, you're getting... She lives next door. She's literally and figuratively the star next door. But you are going on tour, so you will be away from Ashley. Mm. Well, she has a bunk on my bus, and the three of us are so intensely bonded. Um, she just left two days ago. She's doing the cover of Vogue in Paris today. I just did it last week. <laughs> 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 okay, well right now we're going to get a little bit of taste of that tour, so I'm going to step out so you can step on in. Take it away, a little taste of the tour. Oh, you ready? Mama, he's crazy, crazy over me. And in my life is where he says, oh, where he's Blackwell, the famed fashion critic, came out with his 40th annual list of the worst dressed celebrities on Tuesday. Unfortunately for Cher, she came in number one. The entertainer beat other contenders, including Queen Elizabeth, Martha Stewart, Britney Spears, and Cameron Diaz. Blackwell's harshest words were reserved for Cher. She gets in these jeans, and, and between that waistline and that rear end and that, that, that new bust line, and she puckers up the new mouth. And, I mean, I, I just can't take any of it. And her own hair is a nightmare. Ouch. DVDs are fashionable. Half hour, the Judds will be singing and playing and kidding around for us. But the song that we should be singing today, as my Nona said, is Happy Birthday, Naomi. And we at Showbiz Today I chipped you in. <laughs> She's Poor lying me. through her white teeth. We at Showbiz got you something that we heard that yeah, you really want. Powerful. And what do you get for a superstar? Oh. We did our research and we found out that you're a really going to appreciate a different daughter. <laughs> 
No. Actually, no. I celebrate every day. Actually, Naomi, it is a perfume oh, candle. Oh, how thoughtful, because I want this for my butt, bus, because mine is going to be butt. the clean, my, my butt. I want it for my butt. For my butt. Oh. <laughs> That's another show. <laughs> we'll get to that another time. On, on their next tour, we'll talk about your butt, but right now we're not going to. I want to thank you from the bottom of my butt, because my butt's bigger than my heart. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> We don't we're know when. Where are we going? There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I know when we're live. <laughs> My you... bus is going to be the clean, quiet, peaceful, aromatherapy scented bus. And tell us about your daughter's bus. <sighs> What's the difference? Just get a tetanus shot. All right. <laughs> Really? You know, I think right now at this juncture, we are safer if we have them sing than talk. Mm. So ladies, could I ask you again to please do I'm a little singing. something? I'm not singing. Please. <laughs> Pretend it's your birthday. <laughs> Singer, you can't do shows for two months. You're Are you ready, birthday. everybody? Everybody. <laughs> Give a little love.